More than 182,000 people have a faulty heart valve replaced each year, but what if your replacement needs to be replaced? Life's a day at the beach for Sydney Bear and his wife Michelle now, but the last few years have felt more like a hurricane. I had a sudden death cardiac arrest. Um, thankfully, my wife was around the corner and was able to give me CPR. Bear had a quadruple bypass followed by more open heart surgery to plug a leaky mitral valve. Every time the heart tries to pump the blood out of the, the, the heart into the big aorta, Almost 30 to 40 percent of it is actually leaking through that valve. That's when Bear was faced with a third open heart surgery, but repeat valve replacements can be risky. Basically, was one looking for something to avoid a third surgery, which, to be honest with you, uh, very few surgeons in the world would even consider it. Baptist Health interventional cardiologist Siddharth Weinganker, usually referred to as Dr. Sid, decided to repair, not replace, Bear's valve. He used an innovative technique called PVL closure to place a catheter in a small vein in the patient's leg to deliver a plug that repairs the prior valve. So we have to go out of the box, think out of the box, use out of the box tools to close them. It's always good to have a plan A, plan B, plan C. The first two plugs didn't work. It was on to plan C. Finally, I had to use a bigger uh, device that's used in a little bit of a bigger kids to close the defect, and that worked great. And thanks to Dr. Sid, Sidney is getting stronger and soaking up all that life has to offer. So it's a miracle that he's alive. Compared to a traditional PVL replacement, the repair means less recovery time, lower risk of infection, a shorter hospital stay, and smaller incisions and scars.